Can you be gifted by nature, or uh, does it take nurture? Does it take practice? Well, it can be both. I am so lucky and so honored to be able to speak to legendary painter Noah Snow as our first guest. Saborno Isaac and Noah Snow both are nine years old and starred in Hollywood's Warner Brothers with Oscar-nominated Melissa McCarthy. Noah and Saborno were exposed to many branches of education, and they fell in love with drawing and mathematics, respectively. First question about how you got into well, I got into math because in 2013, my father was a part-time security guard, and he was a part-time math student as well. And so, he would be doing math on the blackboard, and I would be watching it, so fascinated with all the mathematical equations and that trail of magic coming out of his talk. And so, I wanted to ask you how you got into art, and well, who really inspired you. And how, what makes you so good at painting? Man, I want to know. Well, a friend introduced Bob Ross to me. I liked it. And then I tried it a little bit. Then I found a private trainer and practiced every day at 6.15 before school. Practice is very important. How long have you been painting? Now, it might seem like an obvious question from the intro, but... Um, I've been painting for four and a half years. Oh, wow. So, how, how much do you feel you have learned uh, from back then to now? Well, definitely a lot since um, it was like, it looked kind of good, but like it just it didn't, didn't look nowhere, it looked nowhere near as good as this. Yeah, to me it looks like kind of like a rainbow because of the order that you use the colors, and it looks yeah. so beautiful. Um, you know those signatures that um, artists put on their works? Well, whenever I sell paintings, because I do sell paintings on my Etsy page, I do sign my paintings. You sell painting for? Okay, okay. I've sold over fifty paintings before. Okay. <laughs> What's your opinion about a uh, banana duct taped to a wall? It sells for two hundred and fifty million for it recently, and the internet is going crazy over it. Some are saying it's just a businessman uh, trick, uh, but others are saying that it's really good. Other other works of art like this include putting duct tape around air uh, and saying it was an invisible statue. So. Um, yeah, what is your take on that? I mean, I honestly don't think a banana duct tape to a wall can really be a sort of art. Me neither, but it's actually a really funny story. You should search it up. Can you be gifted by nature, or uh, does it take nurture? Does it take practice? Well, it can be both, since my grandma is an artist, and that's where I actually, like, I got orders from Bob Ross from a friend, but that's where I, I liked, um, like, start actually liking art, and, but also you definitely do need practice. Have you heard of, like, pastel or stuff like that? Pastel? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, um... Uh, yes, I did for some time. I actually have uh, chalk pastels and oil pastels that um, I used to just um, draw on paper with. Huh. Okay, so was it a good experience? Uh, yes, but that was like, um, a bit, I do remember it, but barely. It was like before I even started painting. Oh. Okay. Like, my, because I did it with my... Um, well, my grandma came over, and, um, she also recommended them, and we bought them, and we, um, and we would draw with them. Uh -huh. Okay, and now I also wanted to ask you, um, have you ever tried, um, other types of arts, like pottery, or clay, or, um, say, sculpting, or m maybe music? Have you tried other types of art? Uh, um, not really, but like I have done like clay, but that's only like once for like an art project in school. Hmm. Is clay fun to play with? 
I did actually enjoy do, um, doing clay. I need clay. Okay. So your role model was Bob Ross. So people like Pablo Picasso or Van Gogh. Um, well, he was like, it's, be, it's because of the type of building and be, um, the type of painting and how easy it is to explain and uh, how easy he explains it and how, um, like he said that anybody can paint. How do I get better? For a uh, traditional painting, and do you have any advice for digital artists as well? Well, not really for digital artists, um, but um, well, I don't really have advice for digital artists, but we definitely um, um, definitely just need to practice and um, keep doing it until you are um, um, actually satisfied with it, and then you can keep doing um, it and like printing it and hanging it up. Great message. Anything you want to say to them? I mean, you could try everything, and then if you like what um, you're doing, you could keep practicing and really do it on it. I think, and, that, I think that's very important to expose your child to lots of things. Do you have, like, social media or something that I, I can see your paintings on so I can just fall over or, or get unstressed whenever I'm trying to do something hard or whenever I want to believe in myself as a painter? Um, yes, you can follow me on Instagram at Noah the Child Painter. You're fourth grade, um, you're in fourth grade, right? Um, a fourth. bit, but I also go to eighth grade as well, so. Yeah, you're, yeah, I was about to say your fourth grade, uh, um, math can be, um, like, um, I, um, you do math, you're, you're in fourth grade, but you can do the math of, uh, um, high schoolers. <laughs> All right, thank you. Conversation with Youngest Professor was sponsored by Brilliant.org.